can say it, everything has been a long preparation for the Olympics. I think also the big championships through the past two years. Just before the other Europeans also I was thinking, well, I don't know if I really want to do it well here. <laughs> if you know, because it's over a month and I want I don't want to have the pressure from the Europeans before the Olympics. But uh, I didn't want to go so deep as I was. I didn't want to be so uncertain as I was before the race uh, because it, it costs a lot uh, for me as a person. Uh, yeah, I changed a lot. It's like uh, you're not having, uh, you don't have a good time at all. I think Bart helped me, I must say so, because he inspired me. He was one of the uh, people who inspired me during the, the time I didn't skate as well. And so now you have to help me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, would, I would always want to try it. So if I can give Bart something for, for the yeah, skating. We talked already about how he is doing during a race, how he's concentrating. Because I, he, we have exactly the same things when it's not going well during a, a race. Mm. We think very negative, we think uh, the wrong way. And yeah, he did it this time the good way. You one can bend out the negative thoughts. Yeah, and I, I try to, I, I really train for it. But in the races, it's still, before the races, the day and the, the morning, I'm concentrating and say to myself, I have to do this, I have to do that. Uh, when I think negative, I have to do that. But when I'm in the race, I forgot everything. It's like in the morning, you know how much one plus one is two. In the race, I don't know how, mu how much one plus one is. So. And, and you, you were in a kind of trance, it looked like. Yeah, I was a uh, trance. I was really hard concentrating. It's like I was going like a horse on the track, like this. It was. Yeah, we also thought he was hypnotized. <laughs> He's yeah. hypnotized during the race. That's what we think. <laughs> That's what it looked like. Oh, but it's... Uh, the only thing I... Information I get during a race is that from Hans Trick van Finn during a race, that's the only one I takes. And But during the 10, I also saw Bart on the, in the lay that he was standing like this, cheering me up, and that was, <laughs> yeah. I saw it, but, uh, well, afterwards I've been you thinking... You had time enough to laugh? <laughs> no, I didn't laugh, but it was an inspiration, you know. And it was because you were really amazed about what yeah. he was doing. it's unbelievable. He, I had to race behind him two times when he skated a race world record. And that's the worst <coughs> position to start, and then, I thought, oh, what the hell, I'm going to enjoy it, watching it, because we're never going to see this again. This has been more than I've dreamed of. Uh, I think I've never been so glad after a race than I was after the 5,000, because uh, I think it's because also the uncertain things I've been through the last month before the last two months, three months, almost since uh, Christmas. So. Then it, then you just like you are really, really lucky. The feelings are, and the rest of the games it was just going on a big wave. You just had to finish it. Yeah. And I was yeah. swimming, swimming against it. <laughs> he was on the wave, and I was swimming the other way. <laughs> Try to swim the other way. Still, you must also be happy with your bronze. I was surprised that it was good enough for for, for bronze, and I'm very glad with it because it's. Always, you can always say, I've skated two Olympics and I have two medals, one gold, one bronze. Dit programma wordt herhaald op tweede paasdag om vijf over één op Nederland 1. So the story is about you being superhumans. It's not true. Oh yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. Yeah. The arm, but it's... Look at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>